Hey guys, Civil Defense Southerner speaking, and today we are doing System Test 15 of the Notifier SFB 1024 Fire Alarm Control Communicator. So, I do have a standardized setup for today. Let's start off with devices from the left to your right. Let's do it the left. First of all, we got the um, MS-151 by Cerberus Biotronics. Very nice pull station, all right. You know, it's um, easy to pull and everything. And above it is a wheel lock NS, a traditional one, I call it. I have a game well version of the NS that I bought a couple of years ago by a guy I know that lives in New England. Well, it's a guy I follow in New England who has a, who has, who had a collection of game well NS. Game well NS. And then right here is a Simplex GX90. It's a Gentex GX90, but it got rebranded by Simplex. It's a mini horn. And they, uh, what's it called? Um, they're mainly used in dwelling units, such as hotel rooms and apartments. And you can check the candela setting on it. Let me check the candela. That's odd, I can't even find it, but I know this, I know this bad boy's on, this bad boy right here is on 15 Candela. And then I got a notifier, MPS 950B, French Canadian Pool Station. It's bilingual because it says FO on it, which stands for fire in French, and they use those things in Canada. So if you go to Canada, you're likely going to see something like this. But Canada also has other kinds of American fire alarms too. So that's how it's going to be. And I got the Act 3 up and I got the System Sensor 2400 up and the key switch down below. Got yeah, I just I just only have it hooked to turn on the alarm system. It was mainly used for suppression system once I when I got it donated a few years back, but um basically uh I just I just only wired it to turn on and off the alarm system. So, yeah, it's just a key switch. That's all you got to care about. So let's get right into testing. Oh my god, my house is on fire. What am I going to do? Why don't we pull this guy? Full station real quick. You gotta use one of those hex keys to do it. There we go. Works good. Yeah, for some reason there was a little delay with that strobe light coming on in the GX90. I know I got the um audible part part working. Some with these alarms, you know, you actually have to um wire it through um what's it called? You gotta you gotta pick, they come with pigtail wirings and you gotta connect it with the wires of your alarm system with some wire nuts. So that's how, that's how, so this alarm is a pigtail, pigtail guy. This one is not, nor do, nor do these. And, um, yeah. And I have it silenced and it said, um, in a second it's gonna tell her, tell her I pulled it at. Zone three. Zone three is where I pulled it, even though it's reset. So I think it's appropriate to reset it now. Now that I um reset the system, I might know that the pull station will reset because if you don't do that, it will just re-alarm on you and you don't want that. There you go, it's reset. Okay, what else to pull next? Why don't we do the MS-151, because this, cause this is kind of an interesting interesting one. Can't wait. I want to see how this works. Three, two, one. 
You can actually pull it this way or you can pull it by the sides. It's pretty cool. see how this pool station resets I want to show you. One thing I do like about it, it says alarm because when you pull it, it verifies to the person who did it that they pulled it correctly when there was a fire. And the fire, the Firelight BG12 series does that as well and does that as well, which is very nice. And I, I got a few of those in my collection. In fact, one of them is a um, Spanish version that they would use in Latin America. So there we go. It's um, it's resettable. Normally you would have. To, normally when I was normally when I was wiring this in, you actually had to open the cover, cover to to get it in. But but it's kind of it's kind of easy to um reset. You know, you just gotta put the hex key in it, and it'll go back to normal. That's how it works. And A1, that's zone one, that's where I pulled it. As you can see, I drew it out right there. I drew out the zones when I was assembling the system a couple years back. Okay, I think I wanna do detectors today. I wanna do some detectors. I'm gonna get my smoke saber out and see, see how that's gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna gonna aim it at some of those detectors. I'm also gonna um give me a second. I just needed to find the right key so I can put it in the panel. I was just gonna do that in advance. Normally I would never do that, but I just wanted to um open it right away upon activations. I don't have the heat detector up and the only way I'm gonna get that heat detector tested is if I have a hair dryer, which I do have me and it's in that black tool chest I picked up at Home Depot about a month ago. So let's get started. I three responded. I was gonna give it some time to see if the um see if that little guy would want to respond or not. I'm not really sure. Just gonna give it some time to air out. I don't think it responded, so I'm just gonna disconnect this detector, just remove the head of it and get it out. And these are the wires of it, these are the guts of it. Just don't touch it or else you'll electrocute yourself. Making sure there's no nothing wrong with that. Okay. I think it's back to normal. Now I, I jinxed it. This guy activated. Gotta press hard to do it. Now both detectors did respond. 
So that's impressive. I'll just put this stupid thing back next to my own Lego layout I have. Because I've always been a Legos way before I did alarms, just so you know. So I'm just going to let that air out. Let's see what I can grab the air out. I have this. I can use a little snack and air it out. Use a little snack and get aired out. Because this because this this detector head is connected to the wires, unlike the i3. In fact, these Tate's cookies right here, they were they were a birthday gift for me for me. Because I because my birthday was a few weeks ago. I think the smoke has probably aired out on the um, 2400, so let's just silence it. Let's just reset it. I'm going to keep the panel open in case it activates again, which I sure hope it doesn't. I'm watching you, detector. Use my hat and I can air it out. My Milwaukee hat I have. Sun Rail Northern Inspect Sun Rail Northern Expansion um, pin I have on it. Yeah, I'm just airing it out with this hat. I saw this happen before, but so I figured I'd just do my own creative creativity to air out tested detectors. Bye. Anyway, that concludes. System test 15 of the Notifier SFP1024 Fire Alarm Control Communicator. Be sure to follow my accounts on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, and subscribe today. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.